Okay, so without making any adjustments at all, let's attack South Africa. I feel like we're going to be okay because my lineup was pretty good after last time. So to start, I'm maybe just going to throw out a shield cat. I basically just need him to sit there and absorb some damage until I can get one of the big ones out. So we'll send a few of those out, plus one of those to kind of push them back a little bit because they're a little bit close to the wall. Then we just need a few little upgrades. They've managed to take down one of my cats. I can fire this if I want to which pushes them back and actually kills a lot of them. They actually took out my tank, but that's okay because we're going to push them back a little more and we can have enough money before you know it. I'm not entirely sure, but I suspect my current lineup would be enough to carry me very far into this, but we're going to find some better cats still. They annoyingly took out my tank again, so we're going to drop another one of those out, but this one was going to get some backup in behind him in the form of let's throw that one out you can tell when they're drawn like that that they're going to be a little more powerful than the rest and the thing has got some attack range on it so we're going to throw out two tanks that way my super doesn't get any damage not that that's going to be a problem is that a boss nope it was something similar to a boss and then it got hit with the hammer and died i think it's just a stronger unit okay the units there are pretty strong they can actually uh kill my tanks so i need to always have those out in front otherwise my big unit's gonna take damage and we wouldn't want that let's throw this one down too while we're at it south africa seems nice this time of year but with my two super units out there i don't think we're gonna have many problems anymore we should march pretty much right through them but we're gonna throw a few shields out anyway i feel like at this point i should have a few more mid-level units out there too because i have very basic units and then very high-end units and nothing in the middle oh i didn't realize my money capped out i was just sitting there watching the destruction uh lost another one of my tanks but we're up to the little red pig never mind it's dead but my third super unit is coming up the rear so this is all fairly easy and stress-free but i think we can do better because this took way too long plus we got a whole bunch of uh, capsules and stuff we got to work with here so out of the event capsule we got this all right well let's see what we can get out of these there's a basic rare that i definitely already had and a cat on chopsticks not that exciting you're going to xp there's an uber super rare on my third or fourth open Radiant Aphrodite. I know I said I wasn't really going to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and throw her into the mix. And while we're at it, we're also going to use the Ninja Cat, otherwise known as Wushu Cat. And then I decided to open one more cap, so we got a Fortune Teller Cat, so we're going to use that also. So Bako Cat costs 1,000. It's a super rare. I'm going to throw it in the number 10 spot. And then Wushu Cat only costs 240, so that's going to be a nice spot, maybe right there. And then I've got a decent balance of cats. I also have lucky capsules, so let's do four at a time and see what we got. I got a very tiny cat. Um, that's just a regular. We're going to change that to XP. Then I got 10,000 XP and then a cat without legs. All right, then let's get back to work. Not going to put out a 50 cent cat because that would be stupid. Going to put out a tank. Then let's also throw out a ninja cat because they're not super expensive. We should be able to throw a lot of those out and they should do decently well for us. For example, they swing their nunchucks actually fairly quickly. That might put out some pretty consistent damage. So let's try that cat again. I remember him from last time. We're going to do another tank out there. Then let's also try the $1,000 uh, machine cat. I think I accidentally bought another pirate, but I'm going to put another tank out there. This actually works really well because we stack up a whole bunch of cats that probably do lots of damage by themselves. That one's got a big cannon. I think I also forgot to swap Aphrodite in. So we're going to do that next round. Well, they push these back really, really quickly. I should use these things more often because right now I could bring in another $1,900, uh, $2,140 of cats. That one's so quick and it's going to push right through to the end and we're going to destroy that place. The damage isn't quite as much as it would otherwise be, but we push to the end way quicker this time. So there's definitely something to that. Okay, so we're going to swap Radiant Aphrodite in for legs. I said for legs. There we go. She only costs $3,000 and she has long distance attack, so she'll be safe. Really quickly while I'm at it, we're going to upgrade her a few times. Then we can find out how strong she is. We just need to save up enough to release her from her prison. For now, I'm mostly just going to send out a bunch of tanks to kind of block the enemies. Then we'll see if Aphrodite's worth her money. I meant to swipe, but we got a cannon cat and I'm not that mad about it. I just hope that cannon doesn't push us too far back, but there's a sheep possibly a ram in the way. Starting to think we might be a little bit overpowered even with our super rare units. That's disregarding our uber super rare and our soon to be even rarer that we might find. That's a lot of details. Okay, like I accidentally bought the wrong five units because they're already damaging their base. Aphrodite does move along maybe a little bit quicker than the other super strong units though, but look at that range. Wow, she can sit way back there and do some damage. That's great. I'm going to keep her for a while. She doesn't attack super often, but when she does, it certainly does some damage. Like she just killed the whole base in basically two shots. And we have the cat scratcher lottery, so let's see if we win anything. Oh, I'm not sure how this works. Kind of want to see if I can get a hold of some of these. If we spend 150 cat food, we might get a fish. 
in a fish would be a lot of fun. This is just a basic rare, but it takes 1500 cat food to try this 11 times, so we need cat food. Uh, so I bought 4000, so we can try this twice, hopefully getting something amazing out of this deal. Not after the best start, but I'll let you know if we find something good. This one's not really good, but it's kind of funny because he's basically running around with bolt cutters. This one is a super rare, but it's literally just an apple, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. So out of those 11, we got nothing interesting, so let's do it again. Can't wait to see what we get. Okay, basically nothing out of that also. But intelligently, I'm going to take this uh, 50 cent cat out of my lineup. And then we're going to replace him with Apple Cat because that's just an apple and that's hilarious. <laughs> then I'm going to take out one of my uber super rares because they're just too expensive. Then I'm going to throw in Viking Cat because Viking Cat sounds like a lot of fun. And everyone is obviously going to get some upgrades because I think we could probably afford that. Especially Apple Cat, who is quickly being the front runner for my favorite. Uh, also, I should probably use this Lucky Capsules. Uh, I've got 23 of them, so let's try 10. Hopefully they have something amazing. Well, I did get 30,000 XP, which is obviously very needed. That was about it. Let's do it again. All right, so let's attack Egypt. As always, starting out with our square. It looks kind of like an eraser. Uh, we're also going to find out how good Apple Cat is. I, I think this one is Apple Cat at the end. But also, the cat with the large hammer should be pretty interesting. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of hits. Is this the apple? Oh yeah, that may be the max upgraded apple. Not really sure what to make of him, but uh, Viking Cat there is really doing some damage. Right. I don't know what to make of that, and I'm okay with that. We're just gonna let them do their thing. This might actually be enough to get us through. I'm already damaging their base pretty good, so yeah, I think we definitely are doing okay. So this isn't really a big surprise. Viking Cat just wants to dominate everything. Uh, we're already done. So let's keep on going turkey. I almost feel like all I need would be like two shield cats and a Viking Cat. Maybe two Viking Cats, and they would just go through absolutely everything. Luckily, I can put that theory to the test, and uh, he's probably just gonna hammer his way through absolutely every enemy we find. He like attacks so fast. I'm not sure the enemies really have time to attack him back. He tends to one-shot them before uh, they have any chance. So we're just going to keep upgrading for now while he does his thing. This is where they start to see a little resistance uh, with the pig and the rams. But I feel like they do enough damage, they'll just tear right on through. They're also hitting the building a lot, so that's fun. I did lose one of my tanks, but that's okay because we're still cruising along. They actually hit pretty hard. Well, they pushed the Vikings back, but they didn't kill them. Come on, kill them all. No survivors. It'll all be over soon. Which one was the fast one? I think it was this one. He'll come charging in there to help finish it off. Oh, never mind. We didn't need it. I was just getting impatient. Russia it is. It's nice and cold here, but the Viking cat should be used to that by now. Oh, wow. These guys are actually hitting a lot harder. We'll throw another shield cat out there, and then we're going to throw out another Viking cat. These angry penguins are tough. Now things are under control. Uh, that's an interesting base they have. Uh, Apple cat there is... Hopefully doing a lot of damage. It's really hard to know what they're doing. Also, I think we're fighting gorillas in Russia of all places, which I didn't really expect, but we're going to throw Aphrodite out there just in case. Because these gorillas are actually uh, strong enough to be able to push back my units so far, except for Apple Cat. Okay, Apple Cat did not make it. Uh, we're going to bring Aphrodite in. I'm a little worried because she's a ranged unit. So she hit things at a distance. We're going to bring in a few of these guys because they'll charge in and hopefully save the day. I don't want her taking a lot of damage. I want her doing the damage. I need to, uh, yeah, I need her back there where she's safe. I like when none of the cats or enemies get color except for the uh, rarest of units. They're the only ones who deserve color in this world. They're actually doing so much damage that it's hard for Aphrodite to get a shot in at this point. But I think she's close enough now that she can probably hit the base. Yeah, and that did... I don't know what that was, four or five thousand damage. So I think that earned us some more openings. Oh good, we got another chopstick cat. I feel like keeping bathtub cat just for his pure excitement, but he's not good enough for me. We did get this super rare, but it kind of just creeps me out, so we're going to get rid of it. Radiant Aphrodite, the second one we've got. Changed XP, that's worth a million. Uh, so let's go back to the fishies and hopefully get some kind of fishies. Okay, so on my very first opening, we got an uber super rare of a fish, the Mola King. We're going to go ahead and use this. And that was really all we got out of the deal. So let's upgrade the Mola King to level 10 and see what Mola King turns into. Living Legend. Since we have a Living Legend, let's take uh, this cat out of the equation and bring the Living Legend in. We are now officially attacking Greece. So I'm mostly going to send out the uh, shield cats for now just because they're not going to make any progress because I want to see the Living Legend in action. We don't have to go very far to hit their base. They're also not really hitting me with strong units until now at least. We finally got something that might be a bit of a challenge. The pig can definitely damage and kill these things, so we're gonna have to throw a few more of them out while we're saving up for the big cat. It's actually a little bit hard to save up any money this way, because every time I spend $100 on one of these, they just about kill one. But we're making progress slowly. Very slowly. Oh, I, um, touched God. Didn't really mean to do that, so we'll take the most expensive option. Baby Boom. Produce as many cats as you want for one minute. Okay. This was entirely unnecessary. There's like two enemies on the map. 
but overkill can be fun. So we're going to bring in uh, the living legend and see what they have to do. Well, they're definitely uh, doing some damage from range, so that's good. I'm not sure this qualifies as a cat anymore. I'm going to bring another shield cat to shield it from a bit of damage. So I'm not sure they could really hurt it that badly. I suspect not. So while I'm at it, I brought in a second one of those just for funsies. You know, while we're at it, let's bring in a third. You can't go wrong with the living legend. Yeah, this works out nicely. Basically, as soon as the enemies get there, we're ready to attack again. And they're going to start to hit the base pretty soon, probably for thousands of damage each, I would suspect. But we'll find out once they actually start hitting it. We're going to bring in another shield cat just to keep the progress hopefully moving forward. 5,000 damage. Oh, a seal. Interesting. A seal with big knockback. But we're gonna do a ton of damage to that thing. Okay, we one-shotted it. Little do they know, we already have a sea creature on the battlefield, and it's a lot stronger than theirs is. Yeah, we're looking at, I think, four to 5,000 damage per shot, which seems like overkill because it is. But that's a lot of fun for us, because all we need is, like, one of these fish. All right, next we're gonna take on Italy, which is a lot farther to go when there's a hippo on the other side. So I think I'm gonna, once again, use Viking Cat for this little adventure. Because we're gonna need some damage against that hippo. And they're gonna do a lot to me and probably kill some of my shields. Wow, Viking Cat is actually really strong. And quick. I surely just go for quick units, because the faster we get to the base, the faster we get this all over with. Like, now if I was to buy, say, the $1,000 this thing, it's gonna charge straight into battle. Uh, we lost our shield, though, so that kind of sucks. But here comes our fast-moving machine friend. We'll throw another Viking down, because they're also fairly quick, and another shield. And we're already knocking at their door. And by knocking at the door, I mean destroying their sacred monument. So we'll throw in a $500 unit, which is the really, really fast one. That's the one I should be using more, because it flies into battle, like, instantly. And then we're already obliterating them. These aren't even the strongest units. There's just a lot of them now. Yeah, there we go. I decided to swap over to the event stage. Because I wanted to fight squids instead. Uh, luckily I do have sea creatures, so this is rather fitting. I suspect these are going to be a lot stronger than what I was doing, but we were so much stronger than them that I'm really not worried about much of anything. Well, let's see how these fish like the Vikings. Maybe a pirate too, because that's sea themed. That makes sense, right? Yes. I expected this to be a lot harder. Oh, okay, maybe it's going to get harder now. They have a fish too. They've got all sorts of fish. Uh, theirs aren't as strong as ours, because Viking Cat is doing what Viking Cat does and absolutely destroying them. Oh, well, we're done already. All right, let's try the harder one. This one's got more stars, so I assume it's harder. Now, the secret is you don't need strategy, knowledge, or skills when you spend a lot of money on stupid cats. Whatever that thing is, though, hits me from range, and that's going to be a bit of a problem, perhaps. So let's throw out some tanks. I got a crab coming in. They're suddenly throwing a lot of units my way, so we're going to have to throw a lot of units their way. Oh, they also have like a kingfish thing. All right, well, let's throw out one of those, one of those. Viking Cat is still doing tons of damage to them, so I'm very happy about that. Um, We could throw in a pirate while we're at it. I just realized how expensive some of these units got. Oh, not that that matters. We're definitely already pushing them way back. Um, Whoops, didn't mean to buy that, but there you go. We can have one of those. But if I want my Living Legend, that's $4,200. Um... Okay, I guess we didn't really need them anyway because their base is almost dead. We pushed them all the way back and destroyed their base without killing them. Okay, so I'm going to try the other event, which is like a flowery field. But this is the top star one, so I'm assuming it's the hardest. But I might have that backwards. So far, their defenses are a little underwhelming. At this point, I'm pretty much just going to send Viking Cat in to do his worst because we might as well. I don't know what else we'd even do at this point. He's just going to smash through that easy. Um, Oh, maybe the base pushes us back. Which still doesn't make it very hard, because we're just going to do that and walk up and he's going to hit it again for 300 damage. He doesn't even push us back. This is easy. Alright, well, to celebrate that crucial victory, we're going to open more capsules. 11 of them. Didn't really get anything there, so let's try a single opening. This is obviously extra lucky because we got absolutely boring cat. Throw it in the garbage. Luckily, we still have 37 lucky capsules to use, so we'll see what we get. I didn't get any from the first 10. I don't even know if I can really get anything good out of these, but we're going to try. Didn't seem to get much of anything, so let's move on. Looks like we get to send our Vikings to the beach. I think I'm just going to throw like everything at this to see if we can just tear through them, because I noticed when we throw the fast units at them we can go extra 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 fast particularly whatever this cat is for only five hundred dollars like he instantly flies into battle and starts attacking he's probably a bit of a glass cannon but look how quick he goes like we just started and he's already pinching the base to death we can even throw in a thousand dollar unit behind it which is probably it's not as quick but it's more powerful and i mean they're already down to about half health on their base and we're killing their hippo or something. Yeah, we don't have to kill their units if we can push them this far back because we destroy their base instead, which is what they need to survive. So just like that, we're already done. And we didn't even have to use our stupidly strong units. I am still very sad we didn't find any of that next tier of rare, but they're very hard to find. We'll get it next time.